In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to resize rounded rectangles or rounded buttons in Adobe Photoshop CS3. First, let's take a look at an ineffective way to resize rounded rectangles. Suppose you would like to add text to a button that is wider than the current shape. It is common habit to select the transform tool and stretch the edge of the button. This is a bad habit as it leads to rounded edges that are distorted. It will also make future resizing an almost impossible task. There is more than one way to do anything in Photoshop, so I'll be showing you a preferred method for resizing rounded buttons. First, select your shape. Then, using the Convert Point tool, click the shape, click the edge, and then click and drag around the four points on the edge. If you click one of the edges, you will notice that the point is manipulated. This is not what we want. Instead, press Control and then click to move all four points in a group. You may release the points wherever you wish, but if you want a straight button, pay attention to the edge and make sure that it does not appear jagged. It might take a couple tries to release the points so that the edges are straight. You will learn that it helps to make short adjustments to the button until you reach the desired result. With patience, you'll have a perfectly resized rounded button. If you zoom in, you can see the difference. For most of you, this part of the tutorial is sufficient to help you understand how to resize buttons. Let's take one more look though when you have multiple layers and multiple shapes overlapping each other and how this technique works then. Just as before, we select the button shape layer, click the edge, and drag around the points. You'll notice the dragging did not select the points, it selected the shape below it. Let's zoom in and use a different technique. Using the convert point tool, shift click each point while pressing undo in between each action. This will select each point and undo any straightening. Once again, all four points are selected and you can manipulate the button to your liking. As before, make sure you are releasing the points so the edges are straight. Some of you might be wondering if you can resize a button vertically using this technique. Sure you can. It's the same steps, just select the bottom four points of the button before resizing. With practice, I think you'll find this technique to be the most efficient way to resize rounded rectangles or rounded buttons in Adobe Photoshop CS3.